right. We're here back at it again with another Mondays with Murdoch. Again, we're going to go over the news segments, except for I don't have my tabs open. I'm not muted this time. I promise. I think. Let me just double check. You know how that happens with me. <laughs> Audio check. Alex, talk. La, 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 la. Okay, I don't know how loud it is. I had to fix my audio, so Twitch, if you guys are on here, I'm so sorry. And YouTube, sorry, I don't know how loud this is going to be because I had to fix some shit. We're going to go on with some news. <clears throat> I'm going to start off with my famous CNN because everyone loves CNN, right? Oh, yeah. That's oh the goal, boy, boy. And we are tuned in today with Ethan and Alex again. I hope that's, our, I hope that's our regular three. Uh, Hunter may join. Um, if he happens to join, I might have to mute him. Because I know he doesn't, he kind of just rambles on about some shit that no one ever wants to talk about. Hmm. Let's see. In the past 12 months, victims are projected to have lost more than 3 million in pet scams. The pandemic has led to enormous spike in pet scams? Of all things, pet scams? I'm a little lost here. What, wait, How do you, repeat it? The pandemic has led to enormous spike in pet scams. How do you... How? I guess people... I don't know. People... Buying animals over the that. internet? I guess, yeah. That's a thing? Yeah. Who the fuck? Bro, I'm gonna go to the damn place and hand them money. I don't. That's that's a little weird. That honestly, to me, that's that's kind of on the buyer. Let me just. Yeah, I I'm not gonna disagree with that. <laughs> like, let me just buy this fucking animal off the internet. Be a statue. Might as well order condoms from Wish. No. <laughs> uh, I see. Biden picks retired General Lloyd Austin to be his Secretary of Defense and be the first black man to lead the Defense Department. Now he's just, he's just trying to like I feel like he's just trying to like get more support. I feel like. Well, know, I mean, after making technically him, after making his racial remarks, he didn't want to finish. Oh well. Oh, there's some lonely otters. Look at that. And why is CNN posting about Pizza Hut? Because why not? Pizza Hut is selling a triple-decker pizza box. I'm not going to lie, that's amazing, but it's CNN. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm laughing at how ironic this is, not how funny it is. A gospel singing family performed a virtual concert at a recording studio, then five of them got COVID-19. Wow. They might as well have <laughs> done a live concert. <laughs> Right? I mean... Might as well. <laughs> you see that I ironic part to that? In our topic today, by the way, YouTube and Twitch, we are going to be talking about COVID-19 and a possible vaccine. I can't wait to touch on the subject because me and Alex 
we didn't butt heads earlier today, but when we was talking about it, let's just say we're a little bit on two different pages. Well, think, not about the vaccine per se, but... Yeah, I think we're kind of in the middle, actually, if I want to... Because we talked about it too much, so I'm hoping it doesn't ruin the podcast. But I don't, it don't, I don't even remember how it came up today. It came up over something. I don't even... I don't remember either. <laughs> Americans used less gas this Thanksgiving week than any other since 1997. I wonder why. You know, Alex. Uh-huh. A couple married 50 years died hours apart from COVID-19. Oh. All right, well, that's enough for CNN. It's boring. What about this monolith that appears? Can anyone explain? I have no idea. You feel idea. like you're just people just, like, <laughs> putting up a giant, like, silver mirror? That's what it looks like. It looks like a fucking mirror. I don't... I don't get it. Welcome, viewer. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you know, Alex, it might help. Fox isn't getting much better. Yeah, she's a gown. <laughs> Where the fuck? Where the fuck? Hey, speaking of sharks. Oh shit, he's eating a turtle! Oh, what my the? God. Oh wait, it's the, what? the turtle escaped. Oh, he did the turtle climbed on the fucking boat, bro! Haha! <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy! I'm not gonna lie, I think I think YouTube and Twitch needs to see this shit. Alright, we're gonna about to full screen this motherfucker. We're about to full screen this motherfucker. This shit is crazy. This shit is, this shit is crazy. Actually, I kind of want to hear the audio. Let me put in my headphones real quick. Today, we ain't drinking for once, YouTube. We're just actually, uh, we're just drinking some hot cocoa with some outdated whipped cream. Uh, let me make sure the audio is working for you guys. It's fucking shark, man. Real life Jaws, man. That'd be so fucking scary. I'm not gonna lie. Witnessing this. All right, here we go. Display capture. And full screen this motherfucker and play. It's a tiger shark. This is crazy. Look, he's just ah, he's. He's screaming! Oh my god, never- I know what you're looking at, never mind. Holy fuck, man. That turtle- Now he's like, come on, man, just put me back in the water. Leave me the fuck alone, I just- Fucking shark just fucking try to eat my ass, and you gonna pick me up, take me out the water? Like, leave me alone, dog. That was crazy, I'm not gonna lie. That's kinda crazy. <laughs> A fucking shark. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Kinda like it. Little sea turtle gets away. Yeah, Fox News is still boring. Oh, wait, what? All right, let's see what's on um the last last one ABC. Probably nothing good. Let's 
so Stonewall Jackson is moved. Broad locations. And this is a life it could change. Tomorrow morning, 87 year old Harry Shukla will be among the first to get the historic shot. It's good, you know, that uh, I got the opportunity of doing How that. How is it? I don't know. And so I'm not nervous or, or anything like that. Ethan, I'm looking forward to your, uh, He's part of the UK's priority groups those over 80, nursing home residents, and, and frontline healthcare workers. Over. And the US could be administering this same vaccine in just days. An independent FDA very... committee is set to vote as early as Thursday. Day, with emergency use That's authorization coming any time after that. Once given the green light, people could get their oh, first Ethan's shots within 24 not. hours. Once authorized, it's the states who'll decide who move gets it, it to, first. CDC guidelines out. recommend nursing home residents and healthcare workers. My best guess we would be a museum. That's where I'd move it. Are occurring in people who are in long-term care facilities or older. But we also want our healthcare workers who are on the front lines to be able to get it. Kristen Choi took part in the vaccine trial and has now published a letter in a medical journal encouraging people to take the vaccine. After her second shot, she felt pain in her shoulder, chills, a headache and a high fever. Initially, I felt pretty bad and definitely was worried about it. Um, but fortunately, none of it ever got serious enough that I had a, a major problem. Experts say that people should expect some mild reaction that could last a few days as with any vaccine. It. But Kristen says her symptoms went That's away kinda, in 24 uh, hours. I would do it again in a heartbeat if I had the chance, even if I knew that I would have a strong reaction again. Real vote of confidence there for the vaccine. Our thanks to James for that. And back here in the United States, the race What's is the point of that to prepare for vaccine distribution across the country. And we wanted to get an inside look at how that no idea. process is taking place. President-elect Biden's home state that's, of Delaware that's great. could that's, begin. That's good um, reporting. Yeah, that's really good reporting. Hey, they moved the statue. It must Don't be like know where, they... it, might, it might pop up in Iraq somewhere. Oh my god. Like, come on. What? <laughs> Literally, the, the cover of the article is relocated. Statue of Confederate Stonewall Jackson relocated from the Virginia Military Institute campus. But but it doesn't say where it was moved to. What did it do? Get, stand up and walk away? Ah. Uh. Showed a tornado in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Holocaust victims asked Supreme Court for help reclaiming art and property. What? Oh shit, I fucked up. Hmm. I'm not reading all that. Fucking huh, how does this work? Holy fuck! No way! Yes way. Special education student, uh, teacher robbed during Zoom call with student and parent. So as she was teaching class, this man broke into her house, struggled to open up a baby gate, Idiot. He was coming up after her, set, uh, threatened to kill her. Nice. <laughs> As she was. What?
Holy shit! Holy shit! This bitch is crazy! So, instead of going to get her keys and wallet, so she, he had her lay down on the, on the bed, or on the, on the floor, was going and getting uh, watches and wedding rings and shit, and uh, he told her to go get uh, keys and wallet, so instead of leading, her, leading him to the keys and wallet, he, she goes downstairs and opens up the baby gate and lets her German Shepherd and Great Dane Boxer oh. mix out. And when the dogs were going after the robber, she grabbed a pair of scissors and chased him out of the house and down the street and yelled at the neighbors to call the police. Oh, oh my god. This bitch is going going after this fucking robber with a fucking pair of scissors. <laughs> oh my god. Let's fucking go. And this happened in Cleveland. <laughs> Note to self. Don't don't rob that bitch. Yeah, yeah. Her dog looks kind of scary. Not gonna lie, just a German Shepherd. I don't see the other dog, but the the dog's in a taco suit. Man, that's crazy. Well, here's part of our uh, talk here. COVID vaccinations. Oh, man. I say we get started on that. Because the rest of this shit is just fucking junk. Junk? Junk. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so there was some talk about some... COVID vaccinations. Alex, I know your point of view. Ethan, how do you feel about a COVID vaccination? Uh, well. Oh, boy. I guess I should ask you, do you know the whole story about it? No. <laughs> so... They're oh, going to give the American people who get the vaccination $1,500. Well, that's uh, what they're talking about doing. They're, they haven't decided completely. That was an idea. That's a little sus, don't you think? A little? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're talking about it. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But it's all over. It was all over both. Both. Or all three fucking news sites. Fifteen hundred dollars, and you go get vaccinated. <laughs> I honestly it sounds like a very strong propaganda to me. Very strong, very suspicious. And, and what I think about when I hear about this is the fact that we have how many years of research in uh, common cold, cancer, and all this. Uh, even HIV, but there's still no vaccination for that. But within a few months, we have a vaccination for COVID. That mutated. Apparently, it mutated a couple times. Remember uh, all the talk about it mutating and, and changing what it what it was before. So it's yeah. like you're telling me you have vaccination, but if I go get it done, you're gonna give me fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a little weird. I said, I said, and I said it from the start, when they come out with this vaccination, it's probably going to come out and it's some kind of like microchip. <laughs> they're going to track everywhere you go. But of course, you're going to get them a few people that's like, well, they can track you through your phone, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, you're right. But the day I leave my phone and everything else, it's really not that hard to go off the grid. I don't know why people say it's so hard to go off the grid. It's really not. It's probably one of the easier things to do going off the grid because you literally just leave all your network tracing behind. You know, you don't take your phone. You don't take, obviously, a computer. You pretty well just find a, a place out in the middle of the fucking woods. You know, you might have to scout it, you know, before you, you go and just move there, but 
It's really not that hard. This is, this is the hardest thing would be is surviving. But still, if it was a microchip, I still wouldn't want to get get it done anyway. I'm not a fucking dog. But yeah, what do you think of that now? Yeah, nah. 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 You wouldn't go get your vaccination done for $1,500? Nah. I'll, I'll take the $1,500, though. Like... <laughs> What about you, Alex? You gonna go get it done? Uh, no. My my thing is, is if they want to give extra incentive out to people who get it, sure, give them extra money. But I think everyone should be getting the fifteen hundred, regardless. Yeah, that's uh, that's capitalism at its finest. Now, what if they forced you to get it though? Because they they they're very they early can't talks. Even... Well, that's what I'm saying. Very early talks was they were gonna force people to do this. I'm like, how how? How? They they can't even get parents. They can't even force parents to give vaccines to their own children. They're not going to force anybody. Yeah, but do you remember the very early talks of making kind of it vaguely? Hey, yeah, they talked about um, trying to make everyone get the vaccination. I'm like, yeah, that's that's not going to go over well. No, that's really not going to go over well. And like at all, you're you're literally talking to. The country where wearing a mask is outrageous, and you're yeah. gonna, you're gonna try to stick them with a needle. Ha, you're funny. Yeah. They they think wearing a mask is what were they taking their rights? Yeah, like, go run after them with a needle now. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. They literally showed up at the doorstep with fucking guns. Like, I don't I don't think. Yeah. That's not gonna go over well. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of wish they would try and see what would happen. I, I feel like there would be some kind of mass riot. Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh shit, that was bad. What are you doing? Sorry, I was I was I'm building something on Minecraft. It says you're on Apex. Oh, I'm on PC. Oh. Oh. What a loser. Oh. All those levels. So, uh, after this whole, this whole, can you guys like chill out behind me? So after this whole vaccination talk, we also want to talk about how would you stop the spread, Ethan? Do you do you have an idea of how you would stop the spread? I mean, logically speaking, if everyone, and I mean everyone, with no questions about it, would quarantine themselves for two weeks, then at the same time, it would probably work. And that's, you know, that's what I said. Logically, if everyone would stay home. But, unfortunately in this country, we have prideful arrogant piece, pieces of shit who think that oh they're taking away my rights oh <sighs> and that's why me and Alex are button heads cause I say it's not gonna work you, everyone oh, yeah. might as well just throw that idea out of the, out of the way oh yeah it's plus it's, it's a logical thought but it's it's not gonna work well, Chris, Chris has a better, I think, better reason. It's not necessarily arrogant people. I think Chris has a better idea of why it won't work. What's up, Punisher? It, Go ahead. Chris thinks of it like a domino effect, and it makes sense. All right, so here's here's the problem that lies within the country actually shutting down. And I'm talking for, like, what, what maybe two weeks? Is that what you were thinking? Maybe two weeks, a month? Somewhere in there? Who, me? Who, me? Both of you. I, I know you guys both say that shutdown will probably work. I I say a month only because that's, like, just based on what other countries have done. They shut down for four to six weeks, and it, it severely helped. So I'm just going to say a month. And I'm, I'm going to go against that. And it's only solely because 
uh, well, it's pretty simple. America. Okay? <laughs> we are... We used to be a very independent country. Now we're a very dependent country. We depend on uh, China a lot, really. But what the what the problem is, if we shut down everything entirely, what's the economy gonna do? Uh, it's gonna it's gonna poop itself. It's it's severely gonna crash, and that's the problem. And that's that's what I say. It, the shutdown will not work. And that's only because, first of all, we got arrogant people. But when yeah, you look so at the definitely... bigger picture, it's going to be like, all right, the truck drivers need to get food someplace or <laughs> even, even train. Like, trains still haul a lot of shit. Coal, whatever. Just like my mama. They still transport shit. So it's like, when you shut everything down, farmers and all that, man, it's, it's going to be tough. I think they were they were projecting that if they shut down the country, hey. we'll have an overabundance of certain items, hey. especially at a farmer's farmer's place. <laughs> so like, all right, milk. All right, cows need to be milked every day, or they'll they're like udders. Yeah, yeah, they get infected and. Okay, well, milk also gets bad, so. Right. There's going to be a lot of waste and a lot of oversupply of things. <laughs> like, where's it going to go? No one's buying anything or... I mean, the, I guess the one way it could work is if, let's say... Let's say they do a martial law where everyone got to stay in. Every house needs to get groceries. Once right. A week. And I'm talking your your eggs, your milk. And, and, and it needs to be free. Like it, it needs to be. It needs to be on the government's ass. It needs to be them. Okay. Like okay, you think about New Zealand how they did it, right? They're a. They're communist, right? They're communist, I believe. Um. Let me look. I don't it know up. if they're com. I, I was gonna say I don't know if they're communist or socialist. They have a prime minister. So, more like a, uh... Hmm. Government, it says government type. Parliamentary? Pal I, don't, I don't know what that means. Parliamentary? Oh, okay. They have a parliament. Constitutional monarch. Yeah, whatever that is. More or less, so the prime like, minister shut it down. That's all I can tell you. That's the most I can tell you. Because she wouldn't let anyone in or out. Whether they were moving inside the... You know, inside their home... Like, inside the, yeah. the island or not, I can't tell you that. What's up, Punisher? What the hell? But more or less, they, they shut it down and it worked. However, their government gave them stuff. Yes. So, I don't, I don't know. I just, I feel like that if, if shit would crash, they're, they're, we're already in a hole. But, like, if we shut down and we get in a bigger hole, I, I don't know if the economy will ever. I think one of the reasons, like, for around here where we're from, if shit shuts down, there's going to be no small businesses. And that's what, honestly, keeps most of the country running. Yeah, we got the big, like, Walmart and everything like that, but... You think about where all these little other groceries go to. They don't just go to Walmart. You know, you got the, the fucking, you got milk down the road at the gas station. Where's all that going to go if, it, if the small business goes away? You're going to have extra supply everywhere. 
I feel like it will just completely crash and maybe COVID's our extinction, who knows? I don't think it will ever go away. Everyone keeps talking about when COVID COVID's finally gone. When, COVID, COVID's finally when gone. it's like, gone, that's, that's, yeah. That's not how this works. It's it isn't polio, like the hell the black plague is still around. Like people are dying from it. This year, like, yeah, and I feel like the Black Plague was such a big thing back then was because look at where it happened and how many. People well, died. they say that the reason the Black Plague was so bad is because of their hygiene practices. When people started having better hygiene practices, it severely went down, and that's what caused it to go away. Was Hygiene practices and. Well, yeah, but I mean, what I what I meant was the amount of people that lived back then. True, that that's true as well. The population was less dense. That's true. So, like when when mass mass plagues happened back then, they're like, "Oh fuck! Is this is this it? Is this the end? Holy shit!" Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. So it's going to raise a lot more panic. So you're saying uh, good hygiene gets rid of a lot of germs, huh? You know, like washing your hands. Yes, people don't, e people don't even know how to do that properly. <laughs> yeah, when, when this fucking pandemic... I know I touched about it in my earlier podcast, but when, when this shit all happened, it was like, all the hand sanitizer and fucking soap and everything was gone. I'm like, wait, what? Were you guys not washing your hands from before all of this? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Had me a little scared. I wasn't worried about COVID. I was worried about someone wiping their ass and touching touching me. Like, I no, nah, get that shit away. Oh, from I've me. I've experienced that at work, like two or three times now where I've been in the bathroom using it. Some other person walks in and uses the bathroom. They don't even wash their hands. I'm like, okay, that's fucking disgusting. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's, and, it's then, and then you go touch all this shit. I, I, I just don't yeah. get it. I don't get it. And that is why I walk out of the bathroom and wash my hands again. <laughs> I tell you, I, I tell you what, I tell you what could fix this entire COVID problem is if we, we tell Walmart an idea and here it is, it's going to be, I said it first. Here we go. All right, we're live. This is gonna be on YouTube. I said it first. Is when Walmart invest in a a glass container for every shelf, right? Every every shelf. So you can't touch the bag of chips. All right, it's like a vending machine, a giant vending machine. You go in, and you gotta get a brand new pair of gloves. To put in like a vending machine, put in the number you want. You want Doritos A three. That's what you get. That's how you're gonna stop this COVID. <laughs> giant a giant vending machine in Walmart for every fucking thing that you want. All right. You want to go down a chip aisle? You want some Doritos A three. All right. You're gonna go. You want to buy a brand new shirt? You go to the shirt section. You want you want that shirt, yeah. You know whatever column it is, that's what you get. But you have to have a new glove, and there's gonna be a recycling bin right there. You you drop the glove in there, and it incinerates it, <laughs> catches it on fire. No more glove, no more problem. No one touching anybody. No one touching any fucking thing. And whatever's in your cart, you buy it. You gotta buy it before it gets in your cart. Good idea. Thank you. Alex, you still alive? Yes, I'm oh, still here. So what do you think of that idea? Just gotta walk in there and buy everything. I think if more people utilized the grocery pickup, that would eliminate Uh-huh. I don't know what she said eliminate something. 
if people would use the grocery pickup, that would eliminate, I think, a lot of unnecessary <laughs> touching. Instead of a million people touching a bag of chips, you have, you know, just the person doing your groceries for you touching it, which, I mean, the risk of them having COVID is slightly less than the random person who just touched the bag of chips. Hey, you just brought up a really good idea, Alex. A really good oh, thought. Boy. Not, not an idea, a thought. Now, hear me out. Y'all want to do grocery pickup. That's fine, right? Okay. <clears throat> what about all the motherfuckers in the store touching that bag of chips? Now, that lady, like, all right, I picked up the Doritos. I don't want it. Fuck it. I throw it back. Maybe I sneezed on them. Who knows? And the lady that does the grocery pickup grabs that bag of chips. So you're sitting at home, or you're sitting in the car, and you think you're all safe, but that that bag's infected now. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Now how? Okay, now, now go back and re-listen to what Mm -hmm. I said. If everyone utilized grocery pickup, well, yeah, yeah, I I got what you were saying. I get what you were saying, but like, and I, I get what you're now too, though. Like, yes, yes, right now you're really helping. I don't think. Right now, your risk of with doing grocery pickup is pretty well the same because. I could have I could have COVID. I could go to the store asymptomatic or maybe it's I'm not able to test positive yet. I could touch a bag of chips, be like, mm, nah, I changed my mind, put it back, and now it's got my COVID cooties oh, all over fuck. it. Fuck, it's got allergy germs all over that shit. Oh shit, COVID cooties. And fucking then the the grocery person comes and grabs it. And now they're going to be at least a carrier for it, whether they actually get it or not. A different story, but they're going to. They're yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. And then whoever they drop the groceries off to, probably going to get it because all because of me. Wow, Alex. Wow, I know. God damn it, Alex. But yeah, if everyone did, I mean, you're still you're still at risk. I mean. Yes, I I agree, but I'm just thinking. Does it. I'm just thinking in terms of a hundred people touching that bag versus one person touching that bag. Well, you're still gonna have people touching it though, cause you gotta box it, ship it, shit like that. Depending on what you buy. Well, I was gonna say that depends. If we're talking a bag of chips, machines do that for the most part. Okay, well then, two people touching your bag bag of chips compared yeah, stock to Stock Boy, the one who comes around and stalks everything in the middle of a fucking Sunday evening where I thought they were supposed to have off at like eleven p.m. so they can stalk uh, that night. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yes. How how does Aldi's how how was Aldi's doing it, Ethan? Was Aldi's doing it good? Um, what we what we did. We just closed an hour earlier so we could wipe everything down extra. Oh, and well. That's all, that's all we really did. And then we also, for a while, probably like two months, we had someone who stood outside and they wiped down all the carts as people brought them back. Honestly, I think that's oh, a great okay. idea, too. I, I like, that is when, really I like when, uh, Walmart does that. Who, who would that? Lavelle. Was there one that Lavelle does that? I don't think Somerset does. Or Somerset. I don't. I don't. It's it's either Lavelle does it and Somerset does. Du, yeah, one of them does and one of them doesn't. And it's oh, good. the Lavelle I, one does. Okay. Cause, cause I when I walk say, in, because when I walk in, I see the uh, uh, they have like a table that has stuff on it. Because I like I like that I like that when they already clean the car for you and they have it out. The reason I like that is because I don't have to go in there and try to fucking wrestle the goddamn carts. All right. Yes. I like it. I like just grabbing one and getting the fuck going. <laughs> Me going in there trying to grab a cart and the whole fucking, the whole fucking buggy, the whole like rack comes with me. I'm like, bro, no, this ain't happening. Not today, get, chief. They get stuck. That's annoying as hell. I, no one likes. That I don't stuff. know. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hear you guys or not, but I gotta restart my PC. We surely should be able to hear us. You know, I, I should be able to. PlayStation off. No, no. I just didn't know with the Elgato if the audio would still come through. So, important news. If you guys made it this far in the YouTube video, um, your boy, this is way off topic, but I am a Razer affiliate streamer now-ish. Um, if you guys could totally come to my Twitch, hit that follow button. It'll help me out tremendous. Um, 
I'm on a path to being partner for them. So uh, tell your grandma in a nursing home to uh, get on her computer or go to the library. Will her ass down there. Get on the fucking computer. Type it in. If, if the libraries are open. Hey, be quiet. All right. It's a nursing home. They always have a library. They always have one computer. And then. <laughs> Good now, doesn't have one. The the nurses station does, but like yo, I gotta I gotta I gotta do something for my boy. I'm in a library, but well, no, but like if she goes up there and be like, hey, I gotta do something for my boy. They'd be like, all right, I know that I, I'm following him too on, on Twitch, so make sure y'all tell your grandma, tell your tell your uncle, your your brother, your dog, whatever, to go hit that follow button on my Twitch. Help me out tremendous, and trust me. Um. It'll be worth your while. All right, I'm very entertaining. Only when Ethan's around, I am. So, when Ethan's around, I'll be a little bit more entertaining. Other than that, I'm pretty boring. Uh. <clears throat> Alex, how's your computer? I restarted it. It. I. I don't know yet. I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm. It's not good. But I did get two new followers, so thank you guys for that. Um, Susie Dyke, oh, <laughs> whoever the fuck that is, and Ghost Donkey Five Twenty. I do know whoever the ones. fuck that is. <laughs> Ghost Donkey, what a fucking great name that is, honestly. But oh yeah, I just don't feel like the COVID is gonna go anyway, go away. I don't think the vaccine is gonna help. I. If I don't know. If you want to bribe them to get it, that, that, like, Ethan comes in, that's a little sus. That's a little sus. Honestly, honestly, if they were like, here's a COVID vaccine, and it's like they didn't do the whole, oh, we'll give you $1,500, if they were just like, oh, here's a COVID vaccine that we have available, it's free to get, I'd probably be a little more inclined to get it. But now that they're like, mm, we'll give you $1,500 if you do it, that actually makes me not want to do it. Because I'm like, uh, no. You can't give me affordable health care through the government, so why would I... Although that $1,500 is a little juicy, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is. Ooh. Like, don't get me wrong, I could use $1,500, but... <laughs> That's one night on the street for me. Oh my god. Like, look at me. I'm worth fifteen hundred in one go. Maybe fifteen dollars. Wow. And I gotta pay them. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Ethan, Ethan would pay at least a dollar. He knows I'm worth more than a quarter. What for your only for an OnlyFans from you, Chris? Yeah. Oh. Baby, I'd pay a hundred, at oh, least. Damn. Add fourteen hundred more, and you got a deal. Ha! You got it, Daddy. Jesus and that's Christ. for a COVID vaccination as well. That's that's free. You're just paying fifteen hundred dollars to come visit me. What, Grinch? What are you doing? Yeah, I just <clears throat> when they when they said about the whole. Fifteen hundred dollars. That that shit just threw me off. I'm like, no, that's. And you know what the kicker is with that? It was an ex-congress, or it was a congressman from Maryland that actually. Maryland's fucked up in general. That's true. And I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm gonna be the one to say it. I'm gonna break everyone's bubbles and their hearts, but the masks don't work. They don't, and that's, here. here's why. Before y'all start hating me, Groot, thank you so much for your hugs and kisses. Here's why they don't work. Let's say everyone's a do-it-yourselfer. Everyone wears a mask, but it's a do-it-yourselfer. Okay? Bandana's not a mask. Pantyhose is clearly not a mask. Yes, I've seen people wear pantyhose for a mask, so don't even, don't shocked. even go to that extent. All right, let, how is that a mask? A shirt over your mouth. 
is not a mask. That's why they don't work. Yes, I get it. They're still wearing something. But that's not mask. It is supposed to prevent stuff coming out of you. Okay? Are you going to wear a condom with holes in? No. It doesn't work. Okay? I wouldn't. You get my point, though. If you're trying <laughs> not to have a baby, <clears throat> Hunter, um, you got to wear something that's not going to... I know. I know what you mean. <laughs> like... <laughs> You're not gonna you're not gonna punch a hole in a condom and then expect it to work. It's just that simple. So how how's a shirt gonna work? I it just it baffles me. Yes, the idea could work. A lot of ideas could work. Execution, however, that's a whole yeah, ass another I... fucking Then you got I, I mean like now obviously you got the people that don't wear masks, so I mean you got that. But like I said, if everyone wore masks, but it was like a do-it-yourself and they don't provide masks, like the government don't provide masks that you got to wear, then yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, and our government would provide us fucking pantyhose to wear, so like even that logic is... Actually, no. No, they would probably give us legit masks, but then UPS or FedEx would have holes in them by the time they got here. Oh. Oh or, or 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 even or even the government. Oh fuck! Well, uh, we got a recall. Uh, so many masks. Uh, there were some holes in them. Yeah, that sounds like our government. So, and if you trust our government, first of all, that's the problem. That's your yeah. That's your problem. <laughs> that, that's a, a problem right there. If you if you trust it, there's we can't help you there. We can't help you with that. Sign. Here's your sign. Groot really wants to be on this podcast with me. You're getting a little heavy, though. You're starting to hurt. Stop. Anyone want to add anything else? To this COVID extreme? The COVID no. extreme. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Alex? What? I didn't ask you. How would you, how would you plan to attack this? To stop the COVID, stop everything. What what what, what would oh. your plan of action be? Honestly, I think that if we if we would Take follow what the if we would follow what has been set up, the social distancing, the masks, and not leaving your house unless you absolutely have to, so work and to get groceries. I feel like that would help, but not everyone. So many people aren't doing that, so like it just defeats the purpose. So I, I don't know. I don't know how exactly. I mean, a lot of the the people that's not like was paying attention to the the what was it the uh, curfew was a lot of younger people. Yeah, I know. Me, I was paying attention to it because I just didn't want to leave the house. I, when I'm laid off, uh, I just, I'm here. I don't go anywhere. I know. Zoe, you're dreaming. Zoe's dreaming. But yeah, like, I don't know. I, I don't think there's really a way to stop it. It's just, nature's taking its course. I said it before. I said it, I said it when it started. I said it's just nature taking action. All right, we hurt nature. Nature is gonna fight back. It's gonna be like, all right, well, yeah, fuck y'all humans. You're just parasites anyway. That is all we are. You're right. I mean, look how much smog cleared up from China. Look how much the water was clear. What it was in Italy, right? How clear the water was in Italy. Uh, something like that, yeah. I mean. It's just nature saying, yeah, I'm not breathing right. It's like Earth coughing up a lung. We destroy it, it's going to destroy us. Plain and simple. Whether it's a, a fucking disease, whether it's a virus, whether it's a fucking meteorite, who fucking knows? It's. But if we don't take care of the Earth, it's clearly not going to take care of us. I mean, you know, who needs oxygen to breathe? Yeah, right. Well, Ethan, you got anything else to add? 
Uh, nothing, nothing much more I can add. You know, pretty well hit the nail on the head, Chris. Yep. About an hour in, about 50 minutes. Let's see. Again, if you guys got any topics, just post them down, write them. We'll talk about them. This one was, wasn't last minute. I wouldn't say it's last minute. But I definitely want to talk about a United Nation with different state laws. Uh, pretty well a nation with borders. Everyone always talks about how free we are, but I mean, are we really? And I will touch on that. Very good. Um, and Ethan, I don't know when it's going to happen, but uh, I, I, I think you got a cryptid already. Uh... It won't be next podcast. I'm not doing cryptids next podcast. Okay. So I'll probably I'll probably have a good one ready. It's either gonna be it won't be the next one, but it might be the one after. I'm gonna see what Nando's up to. We're gonna be talking about cryptids sometime this season, so I hope you guys are ready for that. It's gonna be a good one. Um, if you guys, when you guys are in chat on on Twitch, if you guys join my Twitch every Monday. At 9 p.m., you guys can join the conversation anytime you want to. Um, in YouTube, comment section. If you if you got a topic you want us to talk about, post it. We'll talk about it. I, I ain't scared. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you next Monday at 9 p.m. This stream is ending. And I'm probably switching back to PC. So, I will be streaming a little bit more tonight. Just, uh... Just come join. We'll play some video games. But this podcast and stream is ending. So peace out. See you next Monday.